I would like to share more technique about how to make charcoal with no smoke. This is another way of making charcoal. I think charcoal is a very important thing because soon we maybe have no gas to use. This is Pra Ajahn Supap Chamnan from Pra province in northern of Thailand. He came to teach us how to make different kind of kill that he developed for a long time. This kill it worked very well. He can make very good quality of charcoal with no smoke. I think it's good to learn. This technique it may be a little bit more expensive than uh, the last video about charcoal making that I did before. What we need is one oil drum, 200 liters oil drum. This kind of oil drum, we need the lid, the kind that have the lid on top that we can open easily. So the bottom of the oil drum, we make a hole about six inches, a little bit bigger than six inches. And the top of this lid, we can open it outside like this and then open the hole here, the same size, a little bit bigger than six inches. This is uh, the first drum that the, the drum that we need to do, and then this drum is good to wrap with insulation. Mainly, uh, we use ceramic fiber; it resists the heat very well. So we use ceramic fiber wrap around the whole drum. And the second thing we need is the metal pipe. We need six inches diameter pipe. And the length is about one meter and five inches. This is the height of the pipe. And the bottom of the pipe, from the bottom up to here, one inches. We weld one piece of rebar, not very big, here. So this rebar will help because this pipe will be put in this hole. It will be in here, in this hole, and then stick up above the lid a little bit above five inches at least and then this rebar will lock the pipe here so the pipe will not go down too far and above the pipe here we do about 12 holes this hole the diameter of this hole is about one fourth of an inch or smaller than that, a little bit is okay, about 12 holes. Uh, so that's what we need. This is the main tools that we need. Then we need to prepare the, uh, the base of the kiln. Normally we use brick, make the build up. like this and then actually I'm very bad drawer so there's a hole here under this thing and inside we're gonna put the strainer or the metal rack here so the air can go in here on top we can put wood here and this needs to be big enough for the oil drum to replace on this thing. So the oil drum will be over this rack like this. So the pipe will be in the center. And in this pipe, we start the fire from inside the pipe, on top of the pipe. And when it burnt, 
the heat from this pipe start to heat up the wood around this pipe. Inside we fill up with wood that we want to turn into charcoal. And then this wood will be baked. And then it will turn to charcoal after that. This is the how it works. This is the bottom of the oil drum. It is about a little bit bigger than 6 inches. The hole on top of the lid of the oil drum is the same size. Around the oil drum, we wrap with ceramic fiber and thin or anything, anything that can be insulated that will help. This is the 6 inches metal pipe, how it looks like, and then the rebar that we uh, weld on the end of it like this and the hole is 12 holes that we can drill this is the one meters at least this is how to make the the base of the kiln we use adobe bricks or you can use cement bricks to stack them like this and then put the rack on top of it this metal rack have to be above the ground at least 4 inches. The air can flow. Then we can use mud to plaster above it to prevent leaking too much. But it don't need to be very perfect. After plaster with mud, we put the rack, the metal rack on top. And then we can put the fire wood. This fire wood need to be dry. Put on top of the rack a little bit, not a lot, just to fill up that hole that, that is enough. This is the side of the firewood that we need. And put the oil drum on top of it, like this. Then we put the metal pipe in the middle of the oil drum. But we, before we put the pipe inside the oil drum, we need to put mud to seal the top of the pipe a little bit, like this area. This part, it needs to be filled up with mud first. After we apply with the mud very well, we can put in the hole at the bottom of the drum like this. The mud will, will seal so the air will not go in and out easily at that area. Then we fill up with five wood. Five woods need to be quite similar size and have to be very dry. If it wet, it will take long time to burn. Fill up five wood as much as we can, you will get more charcoals. With the lid, we did the same thing. We put mud on the edge of the lid so it can seal very well with the edge of the drum. When we fill up with fire wood very well, very tight, and then we put the lid on top of the drum and lock it very well because the lock will help to keep the air tight inside that will help it burn faster and hotter then we can put mud to seal between the pipe and the drums to prevent leaking after we seal it very well, we start to burn it. The technique how to burn, we use coconut husk soaked with vegetable oil. Soak it very well and then drop one piece of coconut husk with oil in there and then put some small stick in the hole. This stick, this small stick need to be dry, quite dry. It can catch fire easily. And if it's too big, it can take longer to catch a fire. 
but the small piece is easier to catch fly at the beginning. So this is the coconut husk with vegetable oil and then just drop in there. The fire will burn easily. When the fire burn in the small tube, it will burn the air in the tube and it start to suck the air from the bottom up. That's the way we got blow. We got the wind blow. So it will catch fire easily. When we add the small stick in there, just small amount at a time. Don't add too much because it will be too dense. The fire will start to burn very quick after that. If we want to make it burn faster, we just put a tiny fan at the bottom of the kill. There's a hole there. So when we blow the air in there, it helps to increase the heat inside the pipe very fast. This is optional. Not many minutes later, the heat will rise up very fast. It will be very hot and no smoke at all from this technique. It makes the air clean. It works very well. We can see on the top of the pipe, it's so hot here, but it is like uh, the fire on the gas stove when we turn the gas on very strong, very high heat. This is very hot now. Not really long later, the fire will be stronger and stronger. We can see the frame start to change its shape. It looks very fast after that. During this time, if we have the thermometer to check the temperature, we can see that the temperature will rise up very quick, up to more than 1000 Celsius. This is the time, it's like the jet, the airplane that blow out a lot of gas. So it's very hot at this period of time. We cannot go close to the kiln at all. That's why to have the insulation wrap around the kiln is important to keep the heat inside more. The heat will not come out. That's the heat will increase more inside. So the charcoal that we get from this technique will be very good charcoal. This is the technique that we can make good quality charcoal. And not really long, when the gas was burned completely, the wood released all the gas, the tars from the wood, and it will be burned completely. The frame will calm down after that, but it's still very hot. Leave it like this until the heat calm down and maybe take about five to six hours at least. When it calm down, we can open it. When we open the kiln, this is what it look like. This is very good quality of charcoal. This technique, we bake it, we did not burn it. So the charcoal will keep it shape very well. The leaves and everything still look the same. It will not break it. You can put fruit or anything in there, it will come out the same shape. It's good to use for decoration or put in refrigerators to suck the smell from the refrigerators. And all the charcoal that we got from this technique, it can lead the electricity. So we test it like this. If it lead electricity, that means it's good quality. 
the amount of charcoal it will depend on how much you can put wood in the kiln if we can put a lot of wood we can get more charcoal if we put less we get less charcoal it depends on how can we fill the wood in the kiln this is another way to make charcoal is good to learn because we don't know when we will have energy crisis on this earth it's good to be prepared